I know you may not be able to rule any of those five guys in for the game, but can you rule any of them out? No. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Well, so participated then. in practice in the last couple of days, so we got another really big day today. Uh, Thursday's a little bit later, and then Friday we ramp it up, so we got three more days to take a look at them, but they've all practiced this week. So. What about uh, Kazmir Allen? Is he out for this game? I have no idea. Okay. When will you make that decision? There is no decision. He's right now, he's, he, he don't, he, his status academically is uh, he's not clear to play, and when he's clear to play, I'll uh, check that. Okay. What about uh, Keyshawn? Is there any clarity no, on that situation? Same thing. You have Kazmir Allen in the scout team jersey, and Keyshawn's not practicing. Is there a reason for the difference in No, teams? they're both different situations. What's, what's kind of your scouting report on San Diego State after their opening game? They're obviously, you know, Rocky's known for his defense, and they've been great on defense. You know, he's one of the gurus of defense in college football. And, um, they've played great defense since he's been there, and will continue to play the great defense. They did a great job last year. I think they held Weaver State to five first downs for the entire game. So, um, Offensively, they're were, they were kind of an old-school team. You know, they line up in a lot of traditional eye formations, and they're a little bit more spread in the Weaver State game. You're not sure what you're going to get in our game, but usually they're a, you know, an eye formation team with multiple uh, tight ends and fullbacks, and they're going to run the football. You know, that's the, kind of the, their mindset. That they're going to establish a physicality uh, in the run game. Um, so we got to be prepared for that. They got a bunch of good running backs, uh, not just the, the starter, but the, the, there's a couple backups that are really good players too. So, and they rotate them all in. Um, they got size at receiver. Uh, Agnew is a really good quarterback. You know, they played last year, got hurt uh, in the middle of the season, but came back and looks like he's healthy after watching the play against Weaver. So, um, it's going to be a tough part physical football. What makes what makes league? Rocky what makes Rocky Long so unique as a defensive uh, coach? Well, I think he runs a scheme that not a lot of people run, and I think he, he basically invented the scheme, you know, so he knows it probably better than anybody else. Um, and he's had success dating back to when he had Brian Urlacher at the University of New Mexico, um, and that's kind of his calling card. So he's always been a defensive guy, and, and you know, when you look at the 3 3 stack defense and who plays it the best, Rocky does. What challenges does he present you? You know, it's a it's a it's a defense that you don't see. You know, not a lot of people run it. Um, there's a lot of multiplicity to it. They blitz um, everybody and anybody from different angles and different spots. And, um, there aren't really many holes because they probably has seen everybody attack him over the course of time and, and knows what people try to do to attack that defense. And he's prepared for it. Um, and they got good players. You know, they they know how to recruit to their system and. Uh, and he's done a really good job, you know, and it's tested over time. It's not just a, a one-year thing where they were pretty good and then people kind of caught up to him. I think he's always stayed ahead of him um, in terms of his adjustments and be able to make them, and I think he's done a really good job of recruiting uh, the personnel necessary to run that defense. How did Carl Jones do it inside linebacker? Uh, he only played a handful of snaps, so, you know, most of it's nickel situations. That's what we moved him there for. Um, but he did a good job, you know, so we'll see if his role will expand as the season goes along. And obviously, it's a somewhat new position for him. You know, we had planned on using him as a nickel dime backer a little bit while he's playing safety. And then with uh, Tyree and Bo out, you know, we forced him a little bit more because of our depth situation there. But he did a good job. But I, I want to say he only played 10 or 13 snaps uh, the other day against his family, So. How important would it be to get a win to get these guys? A win's tangible. always important. I, there's no reason yeah. to try to justify, well, it would be a good reason to have a win because of this. Mm -hmm. It's good to have a win. And that's what our whole plan is, is, is to win in every game we play. And, and uh, we, don't, we don't put any quantification on we want to win because of this or mm -hmm. this will give us this. This will give us a win. And these guys have put a lot of hard work into it, and we need to continue to go out there and try to play against a good San Diego State team. So we don't quantify what the reason is for the win. Um, we just want to win. Do you see more reps for uh, Irwin? In this Excuse game? me? Jalen Irwin, do you see more reps for him in this game? Uh, Jalen Irwin was in for every rep of the last game, so um, hopefully that means we ran more plays. But Jalen played, I think, every snap at wide receiver for us uh, as our right outside wide receiver for us in the, in the game on uh, Thursday. So um, you know, he's, he's, he's doing a really good job for us. And, Playing a, playing a heck of a lot out there. So. These guys have beaten a Pac-12 team in every year in the last mm -hmm. three years. Does that help get the guys' attention to no. play this game? We don't talk about the past. Mm -hmm. Turn the tape on. Watch them play against Weaver State. That'll get your attention. So we don't have to go back to three years ago they beat Stanford. You know, we don't have to talk about that to, to get their attention. I think everybody around here uh, that's a fan of football understands how successful Rocky's team has been. Um, and we don't look at it. We don't try to build an opponent up or take an opponent down. We just who's on our schedule, what, what's their scheme, and all those other things. And uh, we're not looking for motivation to 
to, to get us to play harder in a game. You know, it, it, it's the motivation itself is the game itself. So um, it's a really, really good football team that's won a lot, a lot of games since Rocky's been there. So you know, they, they have our full attention. How well did the team put uh, the last game behind them and get to business this week? Practice. They've done a great job. They, they, they practice really well as a group. So, you know, we, we make the necessary um, adjustments and corrections when you look at a game. Whether you look at a practice and you're going to make the necessary adjustments or whether you look at a game and make necessary adjustments and corrections and then you move on to your next opponent. And that's what college football or any football is all about is that each week is its own season. Um, you get an opportunity each week. You don't get many opportunities because it, it, it's a short Deal. It's only 12 games, you know, in the regular season, so um, you got to take advantage of them all. So you can't spend a lot of time on the last game because you got one coming up. And I think our guys, when they came back, were focused and ready to go um, when we started back at here on Monday. So.